In the third part of this series, we continue with the code from the previous part. Today we are going to configure Enable Method Security and Pre-Authorize. In the first part of this video, we use the scopes. And in the second part of this video, we will use the roles of the users. Back in Eclipse, first we're going to make a few minor adjustments to the Spring Authorization Server. In the Application Properties, we configured two new scopes. User Read and User Write. In the Security Config class we now use the Bean and Memory User Details Manager with two users. User and Admin. We can now view the code of the Spring Resource Server. In the main class, we have the Enable Method Security Annotation. In the Home Service, we use the Pre-Authorize Annotation to secure the Home Method and make it accessible only to a user with the User Read Scope. The last class we modified is the Home Controller. Here we use the Home Service with Constructor Dependency Injection. After you have started both projects, we can do a first test with Insomnia. First we need to request an access token, note the additional scope user read. Click on Fetch Token. You can now log in with the user user and password. If all is well you will now get an access token, ID token and a refresh token. We can now use the access token to make a request to the resource server endpoint. If you entered everything correctly you will get the expected result. In the second part of this video, we use the user's roles to configure Enable Method Security and Pre-Authorize. The application YML file has not been modified. In the Security Config class of the Spring Authorization Server, we use the OAuth2 Token Customizer Bean to configure the roles in the Access Token. The following customizations are in the Spring Resource Server project. In the main class, we use the Enable Method Security Annotation. In the Security Config class, we use the JWT Authentication Converter Bean to filter the roles from the Access Token and convert them to granted authorities. In the Home Service, we have two additional methods, one for the User Role and one for the Admin Role. And finally, we have two extra methods in the Home Controller, one for the User and one for the Admin. We can now start everything up and test with Insomnia. Once everything is up and running, we can do a final test. We start by requesting an access token. As usual, fill in everything correctly and log in with user and password. Then we use the access token to make a request to the user endpoint. As you can see, everything works fine. In the next video, we will customize the login screen to our own needs. Thanks for following this video to the end and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.